Hi, I'm Matt Harrison, president of the Lutheran Church, Missouri Synod, and welcome to this month's News Digest. Uh, I wanted to start today with a little reading from 1 Peter. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who according to the riches of his mercy has begotten us into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. The great word for mercy there is eleos. Uh, it's used in Luke's gospel when we're told by Jesus, be merciful as your Father in heaven is merciful. You're begotten into a living hope by the resurrection of Christ that holds good no matter what you're going to face, no matter what we face this coming year. And we all know these are challenging times for very many different reasons. So there's a lot happening these days in the church and we wanna share some of those things with you right now. In this digest, you'll find links to all kinds of interesting stories. There are national stories. We have national missionaries, the first national missionaries called to a couple of major cities in the United States. We have a flood photo gallery from the floods in the Midwest and especially here in St. Louis where we suffered a devastating floods right near this building and we had employees of this building, the headquarters of the Missouri Senate affected and many Missouri Senate people affected. There are KFO interviews, interviews from our radio station about Planned Parenthood, about the abortion situation in the state of Missouri. We have the World Lutheran News Digest which appears regularly on KFUO. We've got reporter online stories about the storm recovery throughout the other districts of the Synod who were affected by this event. We've got a piece on suffering from the Lutheran Witness. We've got Lutheran Engage the World. We've got a story about a convert from Islam named Puya who suffered for the faith already back in Iraq and was catechized by our partner congregation in Berlin and Gottfried Martins who so many people have heard about in this day and age. You see, the state churches in Germany have declared that they are opposed to witnessing to Muslims and quite to the contrary, our partner church is bearing witness to Jesus and many are responding, in fact hundreds and even thousands and becoming faithful Lutherans. We've got a leader blog behind the scenes with one of our disaster guys, Michael Meyer. We've got articles from the Journal of Lutheran Mission by Alexei Strelsov, who's uh, one of our partner church officials from Siberia on the nature of Lutheranism and its challenges today. There are many other features, the Mission Project Catalog, training for Lutheran early response, uh, disaster work. We've got Life Sunday resources, persecution resources, and Mission Field USA resources. We've got upcoming events, the Life Marches, We've got engaging your community events, rural and small town ministry in Little Rock, Arkansas, and especially National Lutheran Schools Week. Last month, I mentioned to you that we had visitors who had come to us from South Sudan, officials from a large Anglican church body in South Sudan. They had been studying Luther's catechism and also looking at the Missouri Synod's website, and they specifically came over to tell us they wish to become Lutheran and to come into fellowship with the Missouri Synod. We suggested maybe they look into the ACNA, our conservative Anglican dialogue partner, but they said, no, we want to become Lutheran. So that is now in process, and you can read about that on the Witness Mercy Life Together blog. If you're a subscriber to this digest, invite your friends to do the same and share it with them. I pray that this year will be a very blessed one for you we know that in Christ all things work together for good. And this world, even though in many ways it seems to be unwinding, is in fact in the Lord's hands and He controls all, He works all for good, and He promises to have mercy on those who trust in Him. God bless you in this year to come.